we are halfway through 2024. My brain still thinks we're in 2023. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be my mid-year favorites. I'm gonna be going through, I think I have 16 products here, 16, 17 of my favorite products that I've tried so far in the year of 2024. I do try to do these every single year. If you wanna see my worst in beauty as we were halfway throughout the year, please do let me know because I can also do that style of video. So I'm just gonna be sharing with you all of my favorites. I will have these linked in the description box. I will also have them in the YouTube shopping button that should be popping up. I've mentioned this in the last couple of my videos, but I did recently move my filming space. So I'm in a different room, so my videos look a little bit different right now, and I don't have anything on my walls yet in here, and I don't have my microphone in yet. So I know things might be a little bit echoey in these videos until we get everything situated, but I have moved over to a new space, which I am very excited about, but hopefully it won't be too distracting as we go through some of my favorite products. I have lip products, I have eyeshadow palettes, complexion products, all the things. Let's jump into it, and first up I have some brow products just probably at the very bottom of my little basket that I put everything in. I've been talking about these brow products a lot recently. These are from CoverGirl, and I typically use both of them at the same time, which is not something that I typically do. I usually just grab one brow pencil and I'm, and I'm good to go. And I have done my brows separately, like just with the CoverGirl brow liner, just with the CoverGirl brow filler. And I think that they look fine, but doing them together just like hits differently, so I tend to always use these together. So again, from CoverGirl, we have the brow liner. This one has the regular spoolie on one side, and then you have a very, very, very thin pencil on the other side. This is what I use to spoolie through my brows, and then I also use it for the front of my brows and to do the hair-like strokes. And then with the CoverGirl brow filler, this one has more of a paddle brush on one side, which I don't really love so i tend to just use the spoolie and then you do have a thicker brow pencil on the other and this is what i use for basically the rest of my brows besides those front areas i have the shade soft brown in both of these from covergirl the brow filler is a little bit more on the waxy side and i feel like it really helps the brows stay in place but this brow combo has just been a favorite of mine it's also drugstore it's affordable you can get these on amazon i would be repurchasing these once i run out of them i can definitely see myself going through those another drugstore item actually is a mascara that i tried earlier this year and i really enjoyed and this is from l'oreal this is their panorama mascara so i actually took this one out of my empty spin and i'm like oh i really need to buy another one so i've been meaning to go to uh, target probably I'll probably end up at target so i feel like i'll throw a panorama in my cart when i'm there but again i did some changing around of my apartment and i'm trying to build this little like nook space in my bedroom so i want to get like a cozy chair blanket you know those sort of things so i was thinking of maybe going to target and then when i was planning this video and grabbing out products i was like where's my panorama mascara but it was in my empties bin i was like ooh. I do feel like I have a Target run coming up though, so that could be a good thing for me. I bought this off a recommendation from my friend Makeup Molly, and I really, really like this. I felt like it did a good job making my lashes look much longer, a little bit more fuller as well, and also super dark, and I did not have any issues with this one transferring on me. I live in Las Vegas. It is very hot here. It's like every time I look at the weather because I'm getting ready to go on a trip next week, so like I don't even bother to pull up the weather app anymore. Like there's no, it's, it's hot. It's hot. That's all we need to know. I pulled up the weather app this morning because I go on a trip next week to the Hamptons and I'm like, I have no idea what the weather is going to be like up there, right? So I go to the weather app, go to type it in, go to like weekly. And then I just, Las Vegas pops up first because I hadn't changed it yet to the Hamptons. And it's just like the fire sign every single day and like 111, 114. I was like, you don't say. This is a, a really nice mascara choice if you are looking to get some more volume for, the, for your lashes and also one that will not transfer on you. A collection product that I've really been loving is from First Aid Beauty. These are their bronze and glow drops. A little shorts video with this one as well, but basically it just, it is what it says it is. It's a liquid product and it makes your skin more bronzy and also more glowy at the same time. So this has been really nice for me for no makeup makeup days, pool days. I've been doing a lot of trips. I've been doing a lot of traveling. I brought, I think I brought these with me to Barbados. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure that I'll put them in my Hamptons travel makeup bag. I do want to do a travel makeup bag video. I'm traveling with my friend Norma Jelly. She's also another YouTuber here. So I thought it would be really fun. I know we'll be doing some things for her channel. And then I really want to do what's in my makeup bag with her, especially because she just came over the other day and took a bunch of stuff from my makeup closet. So I think it'll be really fun to see like 
what's in her bag that she purchased, what she grabbed out of my makeup closet and all of the things. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that video will be coming after we're back from the Hamptons. But this is just a beautiful product for the summer. It's one of those products that's gonna make you look like you've been in the sun without actually, you know, having to skip the sunscreen and all of those things. And I like that it's the bronze and the glow because it just is like so, to me, it just looks like healthy and fresh looking and like I've been by the water. There's no water in Las Vegas, but that's what it makes it look like. Next up, I was just talking in a recent video about how I lost my Anastasia Beauty Balm and I was very sad and I was like, I know it's in this apartment though. Like I know it's in here. I, I know I didn't leave it in Barbados. Or I was saying, I know it's, it's at least in Las Vegas. I was like, I didn't leave it in Barbados. I was like, maybe it's at Ashley's house or you know, one of my other friends' house when I get ready. Maybe I dropped it in my car. No, it was in my vanity the whole time. It was just underneath a few things. And listen, I have been trying to be in my organized scroll era for, I don't know, 17 years now at this point. But I've been trying this new thing recently where I put things back where I want them to be. Like everyone's told me when it comes to organization to have like this shelf is for plates only. This box is for makeup brushes only, you know, like that sort of thing. So I have this vanity in front of me and I put all of my foundations in the, in the top drawer here. But I'm so not used to doing that. I'm so used to just having makeup scattered around everywhere and who knows where it is at any time that when I looked in the top drawer of my vanity, I didn't see it right away. And I was like, obviously, why would I put it back <laughs> where it belongs? That would be crazy. Nope. Turns out I did. Turns out I did do that. So I'm trying, I'm trying to follow my rules of organizing and turns out I'm just like losing things anyways. <laughs> but I did find my Anastasia Beauty Balm and I'm so happy because I love this product. I truly have thought I've misplaced it for a couple of weeks now and I have been so upset with myself. But this is a really beautiful light coverage complexion product. I'm someone who I've typically always been into more lighter coverage, but especially right now, I just have on some concealer today. Sometimes I wear foundation, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wear a beauty balm, a tinted moisturizer, a tinted sunscreen, sometimes just like the first aid beauty drops, something along those lines. I love how natural this makes my skin look. I describe it as a very my skin but better type of product, and I just think it's beautiful. It's so easy to blend. This is very, very travel friendly because it's easy to do on the go. Honestly, you can like swipe it on and blend it out with your fingers. This is another one that you will be seeing in my Hamptons travel makeup bag, and I'm so happy. <laughs> that I didn't lose it. I got the shade 10 and I think it is a great shade match for me. Highly, highly recommend that. The concealer that I am wearing today is from Makeup by Mario. This is the Surreal Skin Concealer and I use the shade 180. This is a, this is such a nice concealer. It is a self setting concealer, which is something I didn't realize the first time that I tried it out. But basically once you apply it, it does dry down pretty quickly. So you do need to move fast with it. Again, sometimes if I'm just using concealer on my face, I'll do my under eyes and I'll do like my forehead, chin, any areas where I have like redness that I want to conceal, anything like that. So if I'm doing the makeup by Mario, I typically will do it in steps at a time. Like I'll just do my under eyes or maybe I'll just do one under eye and then one section of my face and blend it out because if you let it just like sit on your face, it is going to dry down and it's going to be a little bit harder to blend out. But also the flip side of that is that I feel like it stays so well. I still always use a finishing powder or a setting powder with it because that's just something that I typically do in my makeup routine and I still like the way that it looks. But I just feel like this concealer does not budge. I feel like it doesn't get like creasy or crinkly, especially around my under eyes. And it's just been such a good concealer for me, especially if I want something that has a little bit more coverage but isn't necessarily super full coverage because I also still don't necessarily love a really full coverage concealer. I can feel like it can be a little bit too much for the really thin skin on my under eyes. So that Makeup by Mario is kind of like the perfect blend of all of those. A little bit surprised how much I enjoyed this one, but definitely had to mention it in my mid-year favorites. Talking about this one recently, but from Salt New York, I have really loved their Sneaky Balm Skin Tint. I have the shade, I believe it's 11. And this is such a nice one. Again, it's one of those that's kind of like a your skin but better. You have a cream product. I just have it in here with some of my other Salt New York. I have the concealer, the bronzer, and the blush, which I all like, but it's the Sneaky Balm Skin Tint that really gets me. It's a my skin but better. It's very easy to blend out. It's very natural looking. I do think it offers a little bit more coverage than the on Anastasia. So if you're looking something for something with a little bit more oomph, I think the one from Salt New York will be a good option for you. I do have a discount code with them, which is Samantha, if you're interested in checking them out. And then another complexion product that I feel like kind of is in the middle. I feel like 
Salt New York is going to give you the most coverage. Then Anastasia is going to give you the least. And I also have a drugstore option that I really love so much. This is from Catrice. This is their Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation. Um, I have the shade 40N. I actually got sent this in PR from Catrice, but the shades were a little bit light for me. So I actually ordered my own shade match off of Amazon. And I feel like 40N worked out really well for me. Again, same claims as the other foundation products that I'm recommending to you. Natural, easy to blend out, my skin but better. This one does come in a dropper form and it is a very liquidy product. It's a serum foundation. So it's quite liquidy, but again, it gives you just a little bit more coverage than the Anastasia, but it's not gonna be as much as the Salt New York. Doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and it's a very affordable option. So if you're looking for something like that for the summer, highly recommend the one from Matrice. The blush that I'm wearing today, I wasn't really sure I was going to love this blush, but I love this blush. This is from Natasha Denona. It is the mini, the My Mini Dream Glow Blush. So the concept, you have three different shades here, including more of a glowy shade over here. I just mix my brush in all three of them. I love the blush. I love the glow with it. I'm not a big highlighter girl. Like I don't do highlights separately. So to have a little bit more of a glowy blush is fun. If I do want more of a matte blush, I can just concentrate. Like I like that the mattes are together over here. Sometimes with trios like these, the glowy shade or the highlight shade is in the middle. So it kind of takes away that option of if I want a matte blush or if I do want something that's more glowy. Again, typically I'm just doing all three. This is something that I also find to be very travel friendly. Uh, and it also has a little mirror in here. I just think that this is beautiful and it's a very, once again, it's a very natural looking blush. If you want a video on products that I think are like my skin but better or like natural looking makeup, I don't know, something along those lines, let me know because that's definitely my makeup preference. I don't know how many of you it's your makeup preference, but it's definitely something that I look for and I think this blush delivers. I purchased this myself from the Natasha website, I'm pretty sure. I have a discount code over there, which is Samantha March if you're looking to purchase anything from Natasha Denona. But I, I purchased the Mini My Dream palette and I was like, I'll just grab the blush as well. And the blush ended up being such a favorite of mine. Speaking of Natasha, I also really love the Hyper the Hyper Natural Face Palette. Again, purchase this myself. I do have an affiliate code with Natasha, but she does not send me PR. So I typically buy almost everything from Natasha. Sometimes when she comes out with collections, like she just came out with the Golden Collection, I bought the palette and the gloss but I didn't purchase the like highlight um, that came out with it. But a lot of times I do purchase for releases. This palette to me, I am not someone who is very heavy, hand, heavy handed with my palettes. And I feel like you can, you can see the love on this one. I love that we have the five eyeshadows here. You have the blush duo, you have the bronzer duo. These shades work really well for me personally. And I just, this palette is so beautiful. These shades every day and dreamy, I use so much. I use Statement a ton as a liner shade, especially. Soft is super pretty. Like if I just want like a soft pink look, like that's the shade that I'm going into. It's kind of like this peachy pink on my eyes. The only shade that I don't use a ton is Casual, I will say, but I know I could like pop this out and replace it with another shadow if I wanted to from another palette. But I also love that we have bronzer and blush because I really do love the Glam Face and Eye Palette from Natasha. Oh, I don't want this one shade. Looks like it's gonna pop out at any second. But in here is a blush and a highlight. Again, I don't use highlight as much. I mean, I can use it on the eyes. I can mix it in for a glowy blush if I want it to, something along those lines. But I, when there was one time where I was talking about that palette and I said, I wish if she came out with another one like that, it would have a bronzer and a blush option. And then she came out with this palette and I was like, yes. Thank you. I use this palette so much. This is definitely a very travel friendly palette for me. Even though sometimes I get a little bit worried, especially if I'm like checking a bag, but if I'm just carrying on a bag, this is the palette that I wanna bring with me. I get so many makeup steps out of this one. I also love the mirror on these. That one was a big favorite of mine throughout this year. Another palette and the one that I am wearing today is from Sigma Beauty. This is the Cool Neutrals palette. I just mentioned this one recently. I did a new video for my channel called Follower Favorites. So that is where I share all of the top products that you purchased through my affiliate links. Um, that way I can just kind of see what everyone has been ordering throughout the month. So I can kind of compile all of my affiliate links from all the different places, Amazon and Sephora, Natasha Denona, ColourPop, Sigma, all the places. And I can compile that into one and give the top 10 purchases that you made throughout the month. Of course, a lot of them are products that I recommend, but in the video that I just did, there was actually two products, one I've never tried and one I haven't tried in years. So it's just really interesting to see what people are buying and, you know, kind of gives me an idea of like, oh, what's hot right now that maybe I should be buying or trying or something like that. 
So I had mentioned the Sigma Cool Neutrals as one of the top purchases in the month of May. And this is a beautiful palette. Today on my eyes, I mostly just have Angel Wing. I did a little bit of Harvest as well, but I mostly just have that Angel Wing on. It is such a beautiful, like, this reminds me, this formula reminds me a little bit of like the wet effect formula from Natasha Denona. And I just think that it is so stunning. This is a palette that is so easy for me to reach into. I love the Sigma formula. I always mention, I love Natasha Denona, Sigma Beauty, and Odinside. Those are some of my top formulas for eyeshadow palettes. I love that this one is in the little duos here. I don't always use them as duos. Um, like I use Volcanic as the liner. And then I use Volcanic, Harvest, and Fossil for the lower lash line. But you can mix and match. I love the cool tones mixed with the warm tones. It comes with a double-ended brush as well. I do have an affiliate code with Sigma Beauty, which is Samantha if you're interested in the palette or anything else. And then one more eyeshadow product before we jump over to the lip products to finish the video is the Cleona Stained Glass Eyeshadows. These are so beautiful. I just have this little magnetic palette here with a bunch of the stained glass shadows. I have swatch videos with these. I've used them in Get Ready With Me videos. These are just so beautiful and so easy to use. I am very much like a one and done type of girl. Very quick. Again, I mostly just have that angel wing from Sigma on. I did a little bit of matte in the crease, but sometimes I don't even do that. I love to just be able to take my finger and put on something that's really sparkly and fun. Who was I? Oh, I think it was when Norma was over here because she went through, she grabbed some makeup and then she did like a quick get ready with me in the living room. And I was just sitting, and I was like chatting with her and asking her some questions. And um, I can't remember what it was that she said, but she goes, you love sparkly eyeshadow. And I was like, I do love sparkly eyeshadow. How do you know? So I love anything that's gonna sparkle and almost kind of make it look like you spent a lot of time on your makeup when you really didn't. Like that's the, that's the look that I like going for, right? So they have such a variety of the stained glass shadows on the website. I highly recommend checking them out. Cleona Cosmetics is an indie brand. I've been able to meet the owners of the brand. They're two sisters, Maggie and Lee. They are so kind and they are so passionate about their brand. I think it's so fun to be able to meet brand owners in that capacity and just Hear about the brand the origin stories why they love it why they want to keep creating it's so fun for me i do also have an affiliate code with cleona which is samantha once again if you want to pick up any of the stained glass shadows or anything else that they have on the website you know being hot my air conditioning did just turn on so you might hear that but it's hot out there okay and then to finish it off with some lip products so the lip combo that i'm wearing today i've been talking about the makeup forever lip liners in like every single video at this point. These are their Artist Color Pencils. The shade that I have today is Anywhere Caffeine. I had to sharpen it before I did my lip look today. I bought this because all of you were recommending it to me and now I actually have a plethora of lip liners because I had a couple of you send me some to try out. I went down to Austin, Angie gave me a whole little bag of lip liners. She got doubles from Makeup Forever and I was like, oh my gosh, I am set right now with lip liners and I am so pumped about that because I want to say that I have a lot of lip liners, but I don't necessarily think that's true because I, I just use the same lip liners over and over and over again. Charlotte Tilbury, Natasha Denona, ColourPop, now Makeup Forever. I have a couple of MAC Whirls, um, but I don't have like a plethora of lip liners from a bunch of different brands. I just find the ones that I love and I stick to them because lip liner is one of my favorite, favorite favorite makeup steps. Lining my lips, I love that lip liner just stays so well, especially because I'm I'm more into gloss right now at the moment. And you know, gloss can fade a little bit quicker, but then you have like a bomb lip liner on underneath and it's just like, boom, like you don't feel the need to touch up right away. Like I'm still gonna touch up my gloss at some point, but it's not like, it's not like a dire emergency, you know? Cause like your lip liner is still there. But loving these are from Makeup Forever. All of you told me to get it. No regrets here. And then the gloss that I'm wearing is from Gissu. This is the Honey Infused Lip Oil. So I recently did review my Sephora haul. That's probably my previous video maybe. Or I'm, again, I'm getting ready to go to the Hamptons. So I'm trying to do quite a bit of filming. So I still have videos going up while I'm on that trip. Um, but I did do a Sephora haul recently when they had the sale and I just came back to do a collection or rejection video where I review everything. So if you haven't seen that video, you can catch it. And I talk about the Gisu lip oil. Again, I have it on today. It's just so shiny and pretty and it makes the lips look like bigger and juicier. And I love the packaging on this. And I think that it is such a cute gloss. Another gloss that I got from the Sephora sale that I recently reviewed is from Huda Beauty. This is the Full Filler Gloss. This one is in the shade Honey. I also recently got a lip kit from Huda Beauty with a lip liner and then the clear gloss. 
I'm really not even a big clear gloss girl, but I think that really showed me that I do enjoy this formula from Huda Beauty so much. They're just beautiful and they really do make the lips look bigger, except I feel no tingling. I do not like a tingling gloss. Like I typically don't like a plumping gloss, but something that's gonna make my lips look bigger and fuller without that tingly effect, like the Lawless Beauty, I'm gonna be super happy about. And that's how I feel with these ones from Huda Beauty. So I have been reaching into these quite a bit as well. And I just think that they are super beautiful. Another lip product that I have. Oh, one that I still haven't been able to find. I mentioned this in the last video too. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Vixen. This is a matte red lipstick. It is so beautiful. I did say... I just had it because I meant to film my Sephora reviews a little bit earlier in the week and then I decided to film something else. And then when my friend Angie was here, that's when we did some switching around in my apartment. Like we changed the filming room, we changed up like my bedroom a little bit and somehow it got lost in the shuffle. But I know it's here because it was just here. So it's, I think it probably just made its way into a box that it shouldn't have, but it's somewhere in this apartment. But the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Vixen. I've raved about the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks for years. I love the Matte Revolution formula. I feel like it doesn't go anywhere. And especially with a red lipstick, like I don't want it fading or like smearing all over my face or getting all over everything. It's not completely transfer proof or anything like that, but I still just feel more confident when I wear a red lip when it's a really good matte formula. And that's how I feel about the Charlotte Tilbury. And then the last one, I feel like this is kind of a, <laughs> a controversial. <laughs> product to end it on but this is from milk makeup it's their cooling water jelly tints and i use the shade splash okay i don't necessarily love this as a cheek product and i know some people have given it bad reviews using it as a blush but i love it as a lip product because it's a lip stain and it really does stay on me i took this to barbados and i'll probably take it to the hamptons like to me i think this is a really good travel makeup product because it's one of those that i'll put on some lip liner and then i'll do this lip stain and then like i'm good to go like I can eat anything, I can drink anything, I, I can be out and about, and like this lip stain, it really is going to stain your lips. And even though it might not be as vibrant as when I first put it on, I'm always gonna have something on my lips when I use this product. And I just think it's really pretty for that reason. So again, I haven't tried it for my cheeks. My friend Angelina did when we were in Barbados and I thought it looked super pretty on her. She had no issues. She did a swipe on one cheek and then blended it out. I thought it looked super pretty and it stayed on her all night long, even in like 85% humidity. I personally really love it as a lip product though. So after that, that is everything for my mid-year favorites. These are all my tippy top favorites that I've tried so far in the year of 2024. Again, these will all be linked down below. I would love to know what your favorites throughout the year, and I'll see you in the next one.